the days are finally getting a little bit longer here in North America. We've made it past the darkest part of the year, and that can make a lot of us ready to get out into the garden. But winter's not done with most of us yet. Some of us are just starting to plant and others are still dreaming. But for all of us, the word of the month is preparation. Here is your February gardening checklist. Your garden beds may look bare, but there is life lingering beneath the soil. And now is a great time to amend your garden soil for spring planting. Adding a few inches of compost to the top of your soil can help to retain more of winter's moisture and it's a job well done once spring truly arrives. This task can be done at any time, but it's easiest when nothing is actively growing in your beds. I am often asked, when should I start my seeds? That answer is made simple with a calendar and your seed packets. Print out a calendar and mark your last frost date. Then consult your seed packets for the recommended seed starting times, both for inside and outside sowing. Count backwards or forwards from your last frost date and write your seed variety on the appropriate date. You can also write the date on the seed packet as well. When you're making your seed starting plan, be sure to look for instructions for cold stratification. Many seeds, especially North American natives, benefit from a period of cold and damp for better germination. Seeds like milkweed, penstemon, and yarrow all benefit from a period of storage in the refrigerator. Moisten a paper towel, place the seeds on the towel and seal inside a plastic bag, and then place in your refrigerator for the desired number of weeks. If you haven't already, now is a great time to order your bare root fruit trees. Bare root trees are young trees, only a year old. They are less expensive than their older counterparts and studies show that they establish faster and are healthier long-term. You just have to be patient while they grow. Order your bare root fruit trees now and your nursery or supplier will get them to you during the optimal planting time for your area. Roses that bloom on new wood should be pruned at the end of winter or early spring. So now is the time to make a pruning plan. Again, consult your last frost date. That is also your rose pruning date. Pruning can stimulate growth, so don't prune too soon. Use clean, sharp tools and clean your pruning tools with alcohol before moving from one plant to the next. If your roses only bloom once in a summer, however, they bloom on old wood, last year's growth, which means you should wait to prune until after they bloom this year. The air from your HVAC system can really dry out your house plants quickly. Give them a good bath and a soak at least once per month during the winter months to keep them in good condition. Fill your kitchen sink or even your bathtub with several inches of warm water. Place your plants, pot and all, in the water which will wick into the soil through the holes in the bottom of the pot. Use a sprayer to rinse the plant's leaves to remove any dust too. Allow your plants to soak for a few hours, then drain the sink and let them dry a bit before returning them to their usual places. And that is your gardening checklist for February. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Happy gardening!